everybody it's Melanie and it's time for another vlogoween DIY and in this one um, if you don't like creepy baby dolls and you don't like cutting the eyes out of baby dolls if that's triggering for you at all I would suggest you just skip this one we are going to be doing a creepy baby doll candlestick. I'm going to turn this light out for a second and hopefully you will be able to see the extra creepiness of this. Some things you're going to need for this project are these little baby dolls and I got these at the dollar store. Um, if you're only making one candlestick you'll need three. If you're making two you'll need six. I um, ended up using some of that creepy cloth that I had. E6000, a low temp glue gun, uh, paint in your color choice, Mod Podge, um, something you can draw on uh, the baby doll's head with, so we're going to cut a circle, a clean pair of big clippers, some wooden dowels, paint brushes, a craft knife be super careful these are super sharp if you are younger get your parents to help you a screwdriver you will need some micro led lights four of these little uh, clay planters you will also need some scissors the first thing we're gonna do is take this baby doll apart all right so I'm just gonna cut the headpiece off so I wiggled it under that zip tie and then once you cut that zip tie, if you have any little excess plastic, probably a good idea just to go ahead and cut that off. You're also going to want to, uh, if you want to make a super extra creepy decoration, you might want to cut off the arm pieces as well. I found that is the best way to get this fabric off of the arm pieces because it is sewn onto the plastic. I'm gonna get it around the fabric and I'm just gonna cut like I would if I was cutting my nails. See the thread? I have all of these cut out. The next thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna put the hands aside for a second and I'm gonna take one of my other doll heads that I've already painted and I'm gonna set it right on top and then I'm gonna take my sharpie pen whatever will draw on the doll's head and I'm gonna trace around that bottom circle next thing we're gonna do is take a craft knife and we're gonna cut that circle out Super creepy already, right? <laughs> After we cut out the hole in the head, we're going to cut out the eyes. So, creepy factor times 10, right? Next, we are going to paint. Um, now, you could see when I lit up my first one that... The red shows through in streaks and I'm okay with that. If you are not okay with that, you might want to do multiple coats of your paint. So finish painting this. Also paint your hands if you're going to include them in your work and then you're gonna set those aside to dry. We're gonna paint our planter and I'm painting mine black to match the other ones. Now the one that's on top I've painted completely black. This one I'm just gonna not bother with the bottom because nobody's gonna see it anyway. I'm just gonna paint the parts that will be seen. So I'm gonna finish this up off camera and meet back up with you. And next I'm going to take my wooden dowel. Now I've already pre-measured mine, but the way that I measured it is I took my baby doll heads, all three of them, and then I stacked them on top of each other and put the dowel in and then made a mark. And that's where I cut mine. So I have the measurement. Ah. So then I just took the one that I cut and I'm gonna take my craft knife again 
you can use a bigger dowel if you don't want to end up gluing these together. I'm using four per thing. Voila! Then you're just gonna paint this black. Once the dowels are dried, I have heated my hot glue gun and this is the low temp. I'm gonna line them up at the end and then I'm just gonna glue two together. Once you have two to gl glued together on each side, I'm gonna just glue the two sides together. Um, and then I'm just gonna fill in the cracks with hot glue just to make it more secure. So we end up with a bigger wooden dowel. So you can get a bigger wooden dowel instead of gluing four together if you want. Um, I had no way of cutting a bigger dowel. So I'm gonna finish um, securing this and then I will meet back up with you. Here's what mine ends up looking like. It's a lot of glue, it's okay. Nobody's gonna see it. We are going to take our lights and we are going to wrap them around this dowel. So I'm going to find, I think this is the flattest side, so this is going to be the bottom of mine. Um, and then I'm just going to wrap, and I don't, it doesn't have to go all the way to the bottom. So as you can see, it's a pretty decent sized uh, cord that we have. The one thing that you want to make sure you do is you want to end your cord at the top. So that we can get this down through the baby dolls heads. So I'm leaving quite a string here and we'll adjust that when we come to that step. You're going to have to cut out this little excess piece of plastic in here. Again, being super careful. I'm going to move my lights out of the way. Um, otherwise, I have found that the lights do not fit through this part of the baby doll head. We're just making it wider. So I'm just going to thread and I might take some manipulating of the lights to get them on. Ta-da! Again, upping our creep factor. So I'm going to put a ring of E6000 on my bottom here, I'm going to put some in the middle of the pole and then a ring around the baby doll's neck. Then I'm going to put a ring of hot glue around that. And this is going to help hold everything in place while the E6000 dries. I'm going to use that circle in the middle of my pot to get everything centered and then I'm just going to push that bottom head down and hold it in place for a minute so the hot glue will do its job. Got all my baby doll heads glued together. You can see all their creepy faces. I want to make sure that this cord is going to be enough to sit on top here, but not more than that. So I need to wrap this up a little bit more at the top. Be very gentle with this. Your E6000 is still drying right now. And that is the glue that's going to hold really well in place. Sure this again. I think that's good. I have to 
make sure this is gonna stay flat on top. Also make sure your cord is coming out of the back of the head because we don't want it to be seen. Don't glue your cord. It's not necessary, so I'm gonna glue around my cord. I'm gonna do exactly what I did on the bottom. I'm gonna finish gluing. I'm gonna put that ring of hot glue and E6000 to hold it in place. So I've glued my top one on. I got it as straight as possible. You might need to build up a little bit of hot glue to do that. Um, it's not completely dry yet, but I'm going to go ahead and glue these little hands around the bottom so everything can just dry overnight. And I'm just taking them and I've kind of arranged them in a position that I like. Take some hot glue and then just gluing them into the bottom. There you have it. We are mostly done. Now you can see it gets a little messy with some of the glue trying to glue these baby doll heads together. If you want to paint over that you can. Um, it's totally your choice. Um, so yeah, set it aside to dry and I will meet you tomorrow. Mine has dried overnight. It's much more steady. Um, so we're going to go on to the next step. The next step is you want to take your creepy cloth and you are going to measure from the top to the bottom and then you're going to cut that amount. Um, for me, I decided that one layer wasn't enough so I've actually uh, tripled my layer so that it's a little bit thicker. You also want to measure how wide you want it. Um, so I like mine showing a little bit on both sides like this and then you are going to need your Mod Podge and a brush. Avoiding the wires I'm just gonna start putting some Mod Podge on this side and then I'm going to Hold it in place for a second, continuing along this side. And then I'm gonna go back over the top, again, avoiding the wire. So I'm gonna now take this down so I can get the other side. So as you can tell, that's quite a thick coat of Mod Podge, but we really want this to stick up here and to form to the lip itself. Um, you have to wait for it to dry to do the next step. We're going to hide the battery casing, um, which is why we needed to have some of this wire left out um, so that we can do the next step in hiding it. You're going to need your creepy cloth, and I've already measured mine. When you measure it, you want to measure It so that the box can rest inside the creepy cloth because we're gonna double it up and this is how we're gonna hide the box it won't really be as noticeable from the front um, and it's how we're going to give this little battery box some support because it is a little heavy so I'm going to take my needle and thread and my creepy cloth and I am just going to start sewing it onto the back. The first stitch I'm going to do, I'm just hoping you can see this, I'm going through the creepy cloth that I measured and up through the creepy cloth that is glued and I'm not going to pull it all the way to the knot, I'm going to pull it part way and then I'm going to tie it. Then I'm just going to sew all the way across here. So 
So I've sewn all the way across. Now I'm going to bring my battery box down and I'm going to pull up the bottom here so that it is resting inside and I'm just going to sew all the way back across. When I get back to the end, I'm going to take that little string that I left from the beginning and I'm just going to tie another knot. So there's our battery pack, all snug and secure. So we're going to take it out, being very gentle. I'm going to insert the batteries. Because we used Mod Podge, do not use a candle that is not in a container. Um, so make sure that your candle is in glass or another candle holder. Um, we don't want to set these on fire. That's not the point. So those are my candy corn candles that I had earlier. So hopefully you can see that my candles are lit. We're going to turn on our battery packs and we're going to turn off the light. And there you have it. Super creepy, super spooky baby doll head candlestick holders. Focus please. Thank you. If you like this tutorial and you make it, please send me a picture. You can send it to my Gmail, which is shiveringshimmy at gmail.com. You can also Tweet me, find me on Instagram, Tumblr, and Snapchat. I'm shivering shimmy on all of those. I'm also very tongue-tied today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.